Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. June 9th, Jeffrey Stuttered Kennedy. When World War I broke out, Jeffrey Stuttered Kennedy volunteered as a chaplain to the British Army. On this date in 1917, he went into battle to support the soldiers and he was later awarded the Military Cross. Wait till you hear how Stuttart Kennedy supported the soldiers. He wrote poetry with the same outrageous irreverence he pastored his men. He started one poem, Our Padre were a solemn bloke. We call him Dismal Jim. Let's see what kind of Padre Stuttart Kennedy was. God can turn every act of service you do into a kingdom win. When World War I broke out, Jeffrey Studdard Kennedy served as vicar of St. Paul's Church in a poor parish in Worcester. He called for a replacement and volunteered to serve as an army chaplain. But while he waited for approval, the army asked him to pastor a nearby training barracks that would train 10,000 soldiers during the war and Jeffrey preached to them in the open air. These thousands, these were men who'd only attended because they'd been ordered to. These were men who knew they may be going to their deaths. These were men Jeffrey led to the Savior, and he gave them woodbine cigarettes. On December 21st, 1915, Jeffrey got assigned to an army unit Within four days, he was conducting a Christmas Day service in a village square in France. The rain poured down on 400 soldiers. Early on, he worked in a large shed beside a railway, which was turned into a canteen. Soldiers came through in batches on their way to the front, and they waited in the canteen for their trains, about a 24-hour wait. He preached to them and wrote a home for them and climbed onto a wooden box and sang to them, Mother McCree and the sunshine of your smile. He helped them pray for those they were leaving behind and he handed out woodbine cigarettes to them. He also pastored soldiers housed in town and he was enraged they had to deal with alcohol and sex. He said, Lord, how angry it makes me, this attack on men in the rear. Better the guns of the Germans than the temptations of the devil. Soon, Jeffrey's whole parish was sent into battle, and he knew he had to go with them. But his irreverent joking and open smiling and cigarette passing didn't mean he was immune to the terror. He said, fear came. There was a pain underneath my belt. Of course, I had to go into battle with them. It was the parish. And every time they went over the top, Jeffrey was with them. He prayed with them. He helped them stay strong. And he handed out woodbine cigarettes. In the dark, they crawled through trenches and inched forward toward the enemy. I whispered some inane remark as I passed by, Jeffrey said, and was rewarded with a grin which even the darkness could not hide. And often a soldier muttered, God, blimey me, if it ain't the Padre. Vaguely, I felt that this journey was worthwhile. One day, a soldier named Mayfairy dragged himself off the line. He was low on morale, And here came the chaplain, oh, brother. Weary of the silly little parochial god, Mayfairy got ready for the blasted chaplain. Guys like him carried around religion like pretty pink pills right in the middle of this hellish war. But the chaplain introduced himself as Woodbine Willie, as most of the guys called him, and Mayfairy was stumped. Soon he realized Jeffrey was for real and believed what he said. 
when the troops were discussing plans for the following day, a risky offensive on the front line, Jeffrey came in and told them, I am going over the top with you boys, he announced jovially. The soldiers said he didn't have to do that. Mayferry and a few others said he shouldn't do that. I dare not ask you men to face what I would not, he said. Recognizing the fear that accompanied such danger, he added, and I know you would like me to be beside you. The following day, alongside the troops, including Mayferry, Jeffrey rushed into battle. The men fought fiercely, and many were killed or wounded. Jeffrey stooped and spoke to the men, prayed with them, and of course, offered them cigarettes. Seeing Jeffrey's resolve, Mayferry's heart was further opened to anything that man had to say. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. 1 John 3, verse 18. What is one practical way or one unconventional way you might serve someone today and in doing so, show the love of God? God can turn every act of service you do into a kingdom win. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.